Honestly. All Hi, right. Julie. Uh, what's up? Oh, thanks, Margaret. She's a cute spot. Um, I, hello, producer Brian. Hi, producer Brian. Howdy. How's it going? How's your weekend? Um, it's pretty good. Did you I, do anything exciting? No. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <It was> relaxing. <laughs> yeah, same. Uh, we'll get to that in a second, though, for sure. Uh, first, let's intern talk. Intern Sam is here. Oh, yeah. Intern Sam. What's up, intern Sam? How you doing? <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay, so before we start, we have so much to talk about. You have movies to talk about. I have a TV show to talk about. I have a story. I have something that happened to me this oh weekend boy. that is, uh, you will find horrific. Oh, no. And then we have a guest on the phone. Wait, what does that mean? What? That horrific? Yeah. Oh, you'll get, you'll see, you'll see. Uh, we have that. We have double D, tons of double D, so much stuff. But first, let's talk about the man who sponsors this podcast. His name is up there. Jay. Well, his company's name. Jay Wurzler. Now, listen to this information he just passed along to us. This is really good stuff. Financial scams in 2023 are becoming more sophisticated, so fraudsters' methods to scam you are becoming less obvious. Yes, and... Some of these scams are repeats of old scenarios like romance scams. Fraudsters will steal your heart, then steal your money. They will usually ask you to pay for unexpected medical bills. And they'll tell you to wire the money or put it on a gift card. They'll pull your heartstrings, and all you need to do is avoid these at all costs. Learn to just say no. No. <laughs> you may also find yourself a victim of gift card scams. Be very careful when buying gift cards to give to friends and family. Many of the fraudsters have already used the gift cards balance before you even get the chance to buy any. Uh, that happened to me a while ago, and I kind of forgot the scam, but I, I was robbed of like 1200 bucks because of these damn gift cards. You had a gift card with 1200 bucks on it? No, no. I didn't have it. It's a long story, and I'm not going to get into it because it's embarrassing, but... Uh, I had to buy two gift cards because it's a long story. I'm involved not going to Romanian lover. She thought no, was no lovers involved. No lovers. involved. Anyway, Jay says, you know what? The best thing to do, just give cash. A lot of weddings coming up. A lot of graduations coming up here pretty soon. So just give cash. Don't give gift cards. Uh, good advice. Don't use debit cards right now. They are directly linked to your checking or savings account. They don't offer the same consumer protections as credit cards do. Once someone steals your money, it may be difficult to get it back. So for that reason, it's best to use credit cards for the most transactions. Plus, you can earn rewards for the use of credit cards in the form of airline miles or cash back. That's information from Jay Wurzler. He's a certified financial analyst. He's a divorce financial analyst. He's a money manager, all around great guy, 35 plus years of experience, 35 plus years at Capital Growth, Inc. We love him. Here's his phone number. It's 858 858- Five five two sixty nine sixty. You and can email him too. You can. Yeah. It's J A Y W at Capital Growth Inc. dot com. And go ahead. He has a website. Mm-hmm. www dot Capital Growth Inc. dot com. Right there, you go. Thank you, Jay. Thank you so much for Thank sponsoring you, our podcast. And awesome, awesome advice. Okay, let me take a deep breath because I feel like I'm going to puke. Oh. God. So I took, Moving on. Oh my God. Well, I have to be honest. That's. I feel like my eyes look like pinpricks and I'm white as a ghost. It'd be... No, but all right. It'd be so awesome if you no, threw up. I'm not doing that. That will I never agree. happen on the air. It's already happened on the air before. Puking? Me? Yes. You tell that story all the time. That I puke? Didn't you drink toilet water or something? I didn't puke. I drank toilet water, but I didn't, didn't puke. Throw up. Somebody listening threw up. Oh. 
No, I don't ever puke. When ever, you bring a full circle, you definitely need to throw up at no, some point. No, no. I took some vitamins on an empty stomach. Have you done that before? Yes. And uh, you know that feeling? You, why would you do that? Because I thought I had enough food in my stomach, but apparently I did not. Gummy bears are not really food. Oh, well, let me get to the gummy bears. Oh. Let's just do oh, this right now. Okay. no. Let's just go ahead and do this right now. Okay, let's. Laura Kane no longer eats sour Haribo gummy bears. Wait, real quick. What? As, as of when? As of Saturday. And how many of the days since Saturday have you had them? Zero. Wow. Okay. What? Because I was eating one. Oh, no. Oh, no. And all of a sudden, I felt something hard in my mouth. What? If it was a tooth. It was a tooth. Oh. It was half a tooth. It was half a tooth. I'm going home. I told you. I'm going. Why I did you even tell you. that story on the air? I oh, about died. My God. Like you chipped a tooth right. on the gummy oh. bear. It was one of my back th teeth. I have half a back tooth. Oh, don't what show it to me. No, you can't even see it. You can't. I don't want to see it. it. You can't. Thank God, it's not one in the front. I'm sorry. I will throw up. <laughs> oh, it's it was one of your teeth. It was well. Whose teeth? Did you, no, it wasn't I from there the was bag. Like a tooth in the bag. No, oh, you my dumb, God. dumb. But that's still gross that I lost my own tooth. So gross. I think it's crazy. You chipped a tooth on a gummy bear. Here's, oh, I looked at the tooth, and the outside was nice and white. The inside, God. not so much. It was oh. like kind of yellow, and getting a little bit darker yellow. Like oh. it was Ugh. like, like I've been eating sugar. For a year straight. Did you go that's to the what you, well, you have you been. do? Yeah, I know that, and that's why I it, it, I jarred me Ugh. so hard that I'm like I cannot do that to my mouth anymore. When's the last time you went to the dentist? Oh, I don't want to hear it. No, Anyways, no, no, don't, don't worry. It was like about a year ago, maybe. And they didn't go. Oh man, your back tooth looking a little rough right now. No, I oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, I mean, it has to be from all the sugar. Are you going to go to a dentist soon? I am, yes. That's good. I do need to. I saved the tooth just in case. Oh, well, do you want to see it? Uh, no, actually, I do yeah. not. I actually, no. You do, right? I actually no. do, yeah. I don't want to see it. Close your eyes, Eric. Why would you want to see it, Brian? Because um, it's kind of unbelievable. A curiosity? Yeah. It's not that gross. It's just a tooth. Well, it's... Uh, I, I'm embarrassed to show it to you. All right. Because it it does look like it's in the f beginning stages of like something severe happening. Decay. But but oh, I no. But listen, listen. Mm -hmm. I don't have like my there's no sensitivity in my mouth right now. I don't feel anything other than like a little bit of a hole where part of it was and I don't feel any pain or anything, so it didn't get a root, thank God. Or it's already all too far gone. Oh my god. Well, doesn't that cause pain? Oh no. Usually? I haven't lost a tooth. Oh, my God. I haven't either, ever. Well, Except for when I was a well, kid, obviously. Can we stop talking about teeth falling out? Real oh quick. My God, Do I, you want me? I swear to God, if I have nightmares tonight, I'm going to make you throw up. Robert says, put it under your pillow for oh the tooth fairy. You think God. the tooth fairy will come for me? <laughs> yes, do that. You got to take your money for being irresponsible. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I can literally taste the bile building up. I knew you'd be stomach. so upset. Oh God. Eric, did you ever see that movie Teeth? I forget who it's no. It's a long time ago. No. That's a real movie? Yeah. Yes. Um, it's not what you think it's about. It's actually really disgusting. It is. It's dis It's about a girl whose JJ has like oh, piranha yes. teeth. I've heard of this. Yeah. I've heard of yeah. this. I watched that once. Which is accident. why I don't go near them. I didn't. I did not read the description of the movie. I just watched it and I was like, oh, this is bad. Did yep. you watch it though? Yeah. And was it really terrible? Was um, it funny? No, it's not a good movie. Oh, okay. The premise is also bad. And oh. <laughs> basically this chick who just go like, Gets revenge on all these guys by having sex with them and then chops their wiener off. Yeah, while they're you know. Oh my sounds delightful. God. <laughs> it's not a good movie. I, was it nominated wow. for an Academy Award? It sounds wow. maybe a Razzie, but like. Oh my god, that okay. just sounds awful. I think I. Oh, we have it. Our guest is coming on in about five minutes. Yes. Right? All right. Mm -hmm. I will get to two things that are uh, making me feel weird, and okay. then do you want to do your host chat now? I can do my host chat, yes. Oh, yeah, do your host chat, and then we'll have our guest on, and then I'll tell you about why I'm feeling weird and um, kind of dark. <laughs> I'm feeling weird and dark. Like, 
emo, like moody. Yes. Like, like Batman. Oh like we, like you, dark. You feel like yeah. Batman. But it's not. It's all the fault of something I'm watching. Oh, boy. oh, yellow jackets. One of the things. Don't talk about. Stop. We'll wait. Wait until okay. after your um after our guest. Okay. Anyways. Oh, so look I'm at all those people saying hello. Hello. Okay. Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. I'll wave while while you do that. I was. Oh, my host chat is. Did you hear about the woman that has two vaginas? I didn't. She saves. This is so twisted. She has like two, like full, like vagina holes or like vagina. Does she have like the insides she has too? Two full vaginas and two uteruses and yes, all of that stuff yes. in there. Um, the deer horns, yes, <laughs> the fallopian she, tubes. She has. She saves one for her husband, and then the other one she does porn with. I was gonna say like. That has so much potential in the adult It really industry. does. Yeah. Well, that is a good use of things, isn't it? Yes. Imagine, she would make so much money if she used both of those. Uh, at the same time, yeah. yeah. Imagine how many guys she could take at one time. Uh, oh, her name's Evelyn Miller. <laughs> oh, She's my 31. Gosh. Oh, and by the way, she's super hot. Oh, really? So a super hot chick with two vaginas. That's super, every super straight guy's dream. Does she have two, you know, of the C words? Don't say it. I don't know. What? You can say it. Clitoris. Clitoris. Oh, why is it a bad word? Oh, it's not a bad word, but I don't know. These yes. are words that I was told not to say on the air. And it affects about one in every 2,000 women. So Wait, one what? out of every 2,000 women has two vaginas. That's, no way. That's like a solid almost 1% of the United States. There's got to be someone in San Diego who has a, two vaginas. Get the maybe show. maybe they should call. Look at, look at her. She's very hot. She's super hot. Very hot. Show Instagram. Very hot. I wonder if yeah. she has like twice the amount of estrogen then. I wonder. I mean, there's so many questions we have for her. Could she get yeah. pregnant like in both years? Exactly. Yes, time? she can. Oh my so God. So she, for her work on OnlyFans, her work, she wears a condom or they wear a condom. Can you imagine? What? The, ugh. <laughs> I can't. Does she have to like double up on birth control if she wants Probably. to? Probably. <laughs> so many Ew. questions. Or if she wanted to get like an abortion, what happens if they like check out the wrong uterus? So many questions. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I, her poor husband, Tom. Must poor? Do least, you think he's happy? At least he's no, he, he knows he's not, you know, sharing with. Exactly. <laughs> Ew, God. So he gets all, he gets all the excitement of just his own. He has his own. Yeah. And, uh, and then he gets all the. One for money work and one for, for pleasure. Exactly. Yeah. That's she has two amazing. children, Andrew, 20 months, and Georgia, eight months. I wonder which vagina they came from. Well, the husband vagina. The husband vagina, not yeah, the work vagina. I wonder if they've ever, wonder if the husband's ever switched up and be like, you know what? I want to try the other one, see if it's. Different. I'm sure he sees so Maybe many he questions. has. Oh, this could be a sick ticket. <laughs> I, I need to get her on you the do. show. You That's do. your goal. Yeah. yeah. That is your yeah. goal. A lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And my friend Jennifer Coolidge is on the cover of Time as one of the most influential people in the I world right now. I saw that, and I don't believe she's your friend until Jennifer. she comes on the show. Yeah, I kind of agree. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah, cool. and none of this nonsense. We got to have bit. her on the show, then we'll really believe she's your yeah. friend. Okay? Fine. <laughs> anyway, okay, so do we want to call Scott? Yes, we will call Scott. Tell us, so, tell us who Scott is. Scott is a friend of mine. I've known him for quite a few years now and he has he has developed uh his own company called the superhuman formula Ooh. um it's eating right working out he's my age and he is ripped like he's you wouldn't believe your age yeah the picture we yeah, posted of that. him was unbelievable yeah him and tom and Cruz should get together and they should figure out the secrets of de-aging totally yeah so he's Totally. Is, he, is your friend also like a Scientologist? No. Okay, <laughs> so we know it's not from the Scientology. No, it is not. <laughs> okay, go ahead and call him before you look at all your... In, your. He's looking at his text messages. No, I'm getting his, Scott's number. Oh, okay. Oh, are we fighting right now? Did we Jeez. Did we almost have a fight? You're so, you're so cranky when you're ready to throw up. I know, I am. I'm, I'm a cranky, sick person. I'm feeling better, though. I'm feeling a little better. Thank God. Where's that <laughs> ball of perfume? I'm going to start. No, this but place. I can't. Oh, my God. Do not do that. There's to me. lipstick on this microphone. Oh. Hello, this is Scott. Hey, Scott. You it's Eric and Laura. Hi. 
How are there you, Scott? You are. How's it going? I'm I'm good. How's it still going so far? It's going great. We've uh, <laughs> talked about a few, a very, a variety of things, but we're excited to talk to you because I want to know what is the superhuman formula. Hey now, <laughs> yeah. So so hopefully I'll add to the fun. Um, so yeah, the superhuman formula is it, it was me sitting in the gym waiting for my next client, and this was just a, mm, three years ago now. And, and literally that came to, it, it, as far as it's funny, because of a brand, I, I had been, you know, advised, oh, don't, you know, you, you don't want to come across like too hardcore, too, you know, meathead or whatever. And so it was Better Bodies by Scott and, uh, geez, I forget. Um, so Better Bodies by Scott was the, the one prior to that. And then, and then I was just, I was never satisfied with even what I called, you know, my business, what I was doing. And, and it was just feeling incredible sitting there and thinking, man, I feel so amazing. This is so, I need to bottle and bottle this and sell it. And that's where I thought superhuman. And then standing in line at the grocery store, just the sensation of your body and the tension in your muscles and, and the energy and vitality. And so the superhuman formula sort of was a result of that. And then I guess beforehand I was doing it, but I'm in the process of writing two books. One is nutrition. That, that sort of uh, happened a- after, but writing the superhuman formula, um, kind of putting it all together, saying, okay, I have, I have a blueprint, and I think it can help change people's lives. Can you give us like a, like a really quick and, and easy, what is it, the formula? So, so yeah, let me let me just maybe mention a few key things. Okay. So so one of the things that sort of drives me nuts is when most of the science that they quote doing research on exercise is quote aerobic exercise. And that's your heart basically, right? And yeah. and that's wonderful breathing, go for a run. But strength, so muscle, muscular strength is the single biggest adaptation that can take place in the human body. And it's interesting. So, so what I try to do with people is say, okay, these are the things that I do because they impact you the most. Time, energy, and effort is limited. We're going to make the most of it. And it ends up, when you do it the right way, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a second, when you do it the right way, it ends up not being a grind. You don't hate it. And I've had so many clients say, well, I, you know, hated my workouts. I dreaded workout with other personal trainers, but this is actually fun and it feels good. And that's what we're trying to tap into, which is why I say tap into your DNA, figuring out how to do it better, become better and um, survive and thrive and do it better. But muscle, muscle adaptation strength, the single biggest thing. And the funny thing is, if you look at all other modes of exercise, strength training, but again, I have a unique twist to doing that, but strength training is the thing that every system in your body changes. Like running is mostly metabolic and and cardio aerobic. Strength training, you might say, you know, you're just getting big and bulky muscle, but I guess it depends on how you do it. And again, that's why I've found the best of the best ways to do that so that you load the body in the right way you load the stretch, you load a body, you load the muscles and joints in a way that gives you flexibility, mobility, and strength adaptation. Is it only and, is it only the the uh, strength training, or is it also eating or drinking something? Is that is that part of, of the formula? Of, of course, yeah. So so it it's training in the right way, okay. structurally structurally adaptive, regenerative. So we're literally, it turns out if you do it the right way, you do full range movements. If you load the stretch the right way, you're going to even strengthen your connective tissue. And we turn over cells in our body, of course, continuously in almost 100% of our body, a little bit of, bit of our brain, I guess not. But, um, but, but our body cells are turning over constantly. And, and if you're training in, no matter how you're training, you're going to adapt. But if you're training... If you're training in this structurally adaptive way, you're going to be 
replacing cells and regenerating cells and tissue in the way that just impacts you the most. And it puts you in what I call a growth state, meaning that regenerative force, that regenerative energy, instead of, say, people go on a, quote, diet, and they're just sort of dying or sh- losing body mass or shrinking. True. Like that's not, that's not really regenerative if you look at all of the things that are going on. So if you, what I call is achieving a growth state, doing training in a specific way, getting stronger, and, and then giving the body. So this, we want to simplify how you should eat. Number one, train in the right way so that you're structurally adaptive and your body's always regenerating and adapting in a good way. We don't overdo it ever. We just give it enough stress and we let it heal. We give it enough stress and we let it adapt. Now, give your body everything it needs nutritionally. Every single thing that it needs and nothing else. That's the part that's difficult for people, but I'm going to explain in a minute why it can be easy. But Give your body everything it needs and nothing else. So, so literally, I was talking to a client when she left today, and, and it's been a process. And she's been, she had some hormonal fluctuations, and she's premenopausal. So That's me. So estrogen and progesterone, and there's a way that you take that into account. If you're not eating the right stuff, okay. then during, during the cycle when your body's trying to produce progesterone, you need to eat some carbohydrates and, and fasting isn't going to be good for you then. Anyway, that's another story or deeper, but, um, but giving your body everything it needs and nothing else. And for her, I was telling her that includes your hormonal, you know, taking that into account during those parts of your cycle. So we've got a, we've got a little twist to apply to her in her case. Now, do you have this like written, you have a Facebook page. Is that right? Is that what you have right now for the superhuman formula? So I've I've got various social media and everything, but the Facebook page is sort of my central location and, and I'm revamping a website and I've got some online courses that are up and functioning. Um, so sort of a do it yourself course where, where somebody will purchase the course and I will have sort, sort of help them make an assessment and maybe spend some time on zoom with them. Um, and, and otherwise it's sort of, they watch some videos, they, Practice, 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 learn. And anyway, so where I've got a variety somebody, of things. Where, but Where can they get that? Where can you get that right now? Well, why don't they just make it simple, go to my Facebook page, and just send me a message. Is it Scott Sands or Superhuman Formula? So it's fa- the Facebook, and then it's The Scott Sands. The Scott Sands. Okay. T-H-E, Scott Sands. I'm, like, totally interested in this because I think my body is, like, dying. It feels like it is anyway because I feel like I have no hormones left anymore and like I'm all over the place and I haven't worked out in a long time and I don't have the funds to hire like a personal trainer. So this sounds like perfect for me. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, Yeah. So so that's one of the things that that I have heard a lot and and I, I figured out me first. Right. So I played some baseball in college. I started lifting weights. I saw a huge performance improvement. And that was the beginning of, of me being, you know, just really passionate about figuring that out, which I have spent my life doing basically. And then in helping other people, I have funny thing. I had a, I had a girlfriend. Uh, yeah, I guess a girlfriend who was saying, you know what? I don't really care if I'm strong. I just want to be hot. And, kind of, yeah. I can, I can see and, that. And, <laughs> and so I was like, well, you're already spending the time, energy, and effort doing this. Why don't you just do change a little bit the way you're doing things, and you're going to get 10 times as much out of it. Oh. But, but, but she had said, well, maybe this works for you, but not everybody else. So what I have, I have proven in spades is that it does work for everybody else who's attempted it, at least. Okay. And you're in the process of writing a book about it and everything? Yeah. Okay. So, so, so I have the online courses that are up and running and a bunch of videos that are shot that shows demonstration and, and explaining what to do. And, and so putting the books together have sort of been the, the, the master book has been in progress. And of course it's, you know, you add to it and add to it. And then, and then I decided recently because of a couple of things that happened, this one 
client I have now with with her case study is is really good. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to write a nutrition book really quick and get this out of the way. Really quick. Oh, my God. That's incredible. <laughs> well, well it, it hasn't happened really quick, but, you know, of course. Well, yeah. Well, that's really Okay, your background, though, is interesting to me because you used to work at NASA? Yeah. So, okay. so, so college and Carl Sagan, that'll, that'll date me a little bit, Carl Sagan's Cosmos, which they redid with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I didn't see much of it, but, um, but space, yeah. So I studied physics and uh, did various fun things along the way, but I studied physics and NASA was, sort of the pinnacle. So I did that for about four years. And, uh, and, and I had, fitness has been constant in my life. It's funny because somebody will ask me, well, do you do, you know, lunges? Lunging is a great exercise for legs, for glutes. It's like, do you do, do you do lunges all the time? How many, how many days a week? It's like, you know what? I've never thought of this, but I have done lunges five days a week for the last, 30 years. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Ah, lunges. I don't so, like so it's lunges. Just, it's yeah. just funny when you, when you think of it in, that, in those terms and, and realize it's like, wow, okay. I'm excited but, but, to look so, at your stuff. I'm really excited. I'm, yeah. I, this might be something that really, this speaks to me because I like the whole, all the components you talk about and that it's something I can get from my computer and do at home. Yeah. That's yeah, well, well, big. yeah. So, so obviously, the best equipment is. I mean, the the best tools are going to be some equipment. Right. So, but you know, I I I literally have. I'm on the ocean in Redondo Beach, and it was during during the beer flu pandemic that I moved things into my place here, and yeah, and and so I actually it's it's awesome to live in a gym. That's another thing that I realized standing in a gym a few years ago. It's like, you know what? Of all the places anywhere, this is where I'm most comfortable amongst my tools. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And I love anyway. I, I love it when you said that you were at the grocery store and you, you were feeling so amazing that you had to think about why you felt so amazing. Like I, that to me is just would be great to feel like that all the time. Good. And I'd love to help you. Um, so, so a 72-year-old male has recently, after a workout, said, man, it feels so good to be strong. And that's a 72-year-old guy. Mm -hmm. he, he's never, I mean, he, he didn't come to me with, he was relatively healthy. But, you know, improve your strength, improve, improve your posture, improve all of it, and, and energy is better and, and, and all of it. Wow. Very cool. Well, look on my Instagram or look at Laura Kane After Dark on Instagram. You'll see his picture. He knows what he's talking about. You look incredible. You do. You yeah, really he definitely do. does know what he's talking about. So do you well, want to say you. one final thing to our listeners before we give your um, information again? Um, I had written some notes down and, and basically just to make an impact. It's like, what do people, I'll, I'll say this. Man, and we didn't talk much about food. You're, so, so here's, I'm, I'm going to talk about one more thing quick. No problem. Your, your microbiome, the microbes, the ancient bacteria that lives in you and on you, it's both the energy producer in your cells, mitochondria, ancient bacteria that found its way into human, well, into all animals, and, and your microbes, your microbiome. Your microbiome connects to your brain nine times more than your brain connects to it to tell it what to do. So I had written about four years ago, it's like, who's driving the bus, really? So if anybody wants to look up anything and start to learn something, structurally adaptive training, strength, okay. microbes, okay. your microbiome. Everybody's heard of probiotics, right? Of yes. course. So, so your microbes, if you eat the right stuff and you feed your microbes, your life will change. Okay, I'm going to Google that. Your brain will change. Microbes. Okay, and then we can find you at the Scott Sands on Facebook, or um, it's on Facebook. Uh, the Scott Sands. And it's the there's a little link that for the Superhuman Formula. Awesome. If anybody wants any information, just send me a message. That's really great, Scott Sands. Thank you so much. I think you may have changed somebody's life today. Great talking to you guys. 
All right, Scott, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. I want to feel like that. I don't feel like that right now. <laughs> yeah, the, the gummy bears may play a part in that. I know. Hey, they're gone. Okay, they're For out now. of my life. The, I, I'm not. I'm not. That's not happening again to me. That was God telling me I've been eating too much sugar. Mm-hmm. God told you a long time ago <laughs> you were eating too much sugar. <laughs> I just he wasn't listening. I was not listening. Okay, so let's do the double D. Oh. In the double D, I'll tell you why I'm feeling dark. <laughs> You go first, and then I'll go. All right. I'll go first. You go first, and then I'll go. All right. So, did you know Lindsay Lohan is pregnant? I did. I did know that. It's been kind of under the radar. It has been. But I remember when she announced it. Okay. So, she, she had her baby shower this weekend. Oh. With her mom and sister and everything. It looked like it was really oh, nice. I love healthy Lindsay. I do, too. Don't you? Yeah. Yes, I do, too. Is she still clean? Yeah. If she's pregnant, I'm hoping so. Well, I, I mean, I hope so, but lots of people have not been clean while pregnant. I yes, love I'm, her. I feel like she has. Yeah. I hope so. I, I am always rooting for her. I yeah, love Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, Danny Masterson, remember him from that 70s show? Yes. Uh, the fifth accuser of sexual uh, misconduct has come forward. Five. Has taken the stand. He's getting into R. Kelly territory here. Mm-hmm. He got charged, right? Yes. And... He is married to Bijou Phillips. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. And they're both Scientologists. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. Scientology not happy to have him. I bet they're not happy Uh -uh. at all. Well, they've had worse controversy than that. (laughs) True. (laughs) Hey, do you watch Love is Blind on Netflix? I started to watch this this new season that is now over, but um, I couldn't really get into it. I couldn't either into this season. I don't know why. Maybe it was because it was so quickly after Mm -hmm. the last season. Yeah. There wasn't enough time for me to miss it. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of came on super quick. Well, they had their quote unquote live reunion and next Netflix crashed. Oh my God. So now it's not live. They Netflix was live with Chris Rock's comedy special Mm -hmm. and that went okay. So I wonder what happened here. I don't know. Broadcast is a bitch. I mean, there could be a million things that went wrong. Yeah, for sure. So did they tape it? Are they going to air it later? it's just airing. They taped it the same night. Like, they were still ready to go, so they just ended up taping. I think it's coming in the next couple of days. Oh, okay. Oh, good. Well, I don't know why. I said good. I haven't watched it. (laughs) Maybe I need to watch it. That'll make me feel happier than what I watched this weekend. Oh, no. Um, Oh, my God. Super Mario Brothers movie. Who even knew? My daughter saw this and she freaking loved it. And she said, every adult needs to see it because it has. All right. Well, your daughter loves everything in its entirety. With well, no every limitation. adult needs to see it because of why? You're right, Brian. And um, she said that it has a lot. It's a, a lot of adult themes, a lot of adult humor, and that any adult would love to see it. That's what she said. I, I would not love to see it. But it made $80 million in its second weekend. It, like... It has crushed every single animated movie ever. I it, it don't beat get out it. Frozen finally too. I, yeah. Someone needs to do that terrible movie. Whatever. What? I stand by Kim, that. Did you did you see the Kim K Photoshop fail? No. So she posted a picture of herself in her gargantuan bathroom. Okay. Her oh bathroom God. alone is the size of this house. And it's all white probably. It's all white. So she's in like a nude colored bikini mm-hmm. and like her middle finger is missing because she was photoshopping something. Uh oh. Everybody. It's on her it. Instagram. It's on her Instagram. What, yeah. Where was I her hand? Was her hand like. No, her, her hand was holding her phone. Oh. But like her middle finger is almost completely gone. I love Kardashian photo fails. Oh my God. There's so many of them. <laughs> I know. You would think at some point they would learn to. I or know. They would or hire they would, the best of the best yeah, of the best. They have enough. Frickin' money. Right. Um, Coachella. Yes. Kendall well, Jenner went to see Bad Bunny. Who cares? Well, they're dating, like, apparently. Camila Cabello and Cabello and Shawn Mendes were seen kissing. They were broken. They've been broken up. Mm-hmm. So this is a I, this is a rekindle? Hmm. Who cares? Um, Katy Perry, this wasn't Coachella, um, but Katy Perry brought Northwest up on stage during her show. Oh, that's cute. And I like that. And some people were horrified. Yes. Yes. And then what's up with uh, Vanderpump? Stuff? Oh, Raquel has checked herself into a mental hospital in Arizona. Oh, that does not surprise does me. Does not surprise at me all. either. Well, her publicity has been so bad. 
I know. Do you think this is good for her publicity or bad for her publicity? Oh, it's gonna. She's probably doing it to make people feel sorry for her. True, it's absolutely. Not work. But maybe she really needs it because of she's probably really like bummed out about all this stuff. She is. The I mean, not that she doesn't deserve it, but I'm just saying, like, oh my god. I'm gonna say a line from a movie, and you might know what it is. You might not know what it is. What? I am the French lieutenant. Oh. Do you remember that? I don't know. No, and I'm not did even I sure sound, why you said that. Did I sound like Meryl Streep? <laughs> not at all. Oh. I thought you were like some the French old French woman. No, she's a whore. Oh, Raquel. Oh, yeah. my God. You're so funny. A home wrecking whore. It's been so fun watching <laughs> Vanderpump, though. It after really has. knowing all that we know with Scandal mm -hmm. it's, it's been so awesome. good. Um, okay, in, and I'll say in some double D news, because this is showbiz news, kind of, what I watched this weekend, all day yesterday, and it's put me in a crazy mood because I finished it, or I'll, no, I'm 20 minutes from finishing it, and I had to stop it, call my mom, get outside, walk the dog, because I was feeling not good in mentally. Have you seen Beef? No. Beef? Uh -huh. MG! Is this a documentary? No. Right. It's a show on Netflix. Beef? It's like number one on Netflix right now. Is this now. the one with Ali Wong? Yes. And um, Stephen Yoon from um, Walking Isn't Dead. Isn't it about road rage? Yes. It is incredible what one little road rage incident leads to. All, it, that's all I'm going to say. Oh. Is this the one with Russell Crowe? No. Okay. No, that was unhinged. Oh. That was good. Beef. It is un okay. Believe. All right, come here, Sam. Real quick, I took a look at the Kim K photo. It's not actually photoshopped. I hate to admit. What do you mean? So the photo, the part where her fingers disappearing, it's actually just, she just has a black pop socket on the back of her phone that's concealing half her finger. So okay. I would oh love, I would love God. to say it's photoshopped, but it doesn't look that photoshopped to me. All right, real quick, okay. Sam. I just because obviously you've watched it. She's so good. Oh, here, turn your microphone on. Um, oh. This is intern Sam. Um, so tell me, is it on? No. Oh, you just flip it on like this. I just pushed it up. Oh, there, there, oh, there we go. Apparently I did not. Look at that. Okay. Jeez. So did you watch the whole thing? I am on the final episode. Okay. So, so am I. Mm -hmm. How deep in? I have yet to start the final one. Okay. That's where we're at. Holy mm -hmm. mother of mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Did we get to, yes, we, we already got I, to what happened at the billionaire's home, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, OMG, mm -hmm. first of all. First of all, yes. And then this next episode, which I haven't finished, I, and I'm scared to finish it. That's why. I'm, yes. I can't. I can't even say anything because I don't want to no, spoil anything, I know, but don't. oh my gosh. You got to watch B. You have to watch it. it, it it's an all As, Asian cast, which I love. Yes. Representation. Totally. Truly, it's what's needed. I think it's, it's absolutely wonderful but, and it's great and I love every single person in that cast. Oh my God. Just, all right. A perfect balance of humor. Thank you for, for yes, humor, dark humor, mm -hmm. um, and it's unpredictable. Yes. Okay. It's a great, great choice for the full family. No, 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 <laughs> no, it's not. Don't say that, Sam. Wait, is the girl in Emily in Paris in it? I don't know. I've never seen Emily in Paris. What? I'm sorry. What I, was that? I've never seen Emily. I don't see. I like these beef kind of shows. I don't really like the yeah, I kind of agree. Emily in Paris kind of shows. Which is funny. I, yeah, I think me and Laura's movie tastes actually are more aligned than me and Eric's. Yeah. Bite your tongue. <laughs> see, I, except when it comes to things like Evil Dead Rise, which we are going which to we're see all in a couple as a weeks. Family. Yes, we are. We are my little family. Next we're Friday. going, and we're all excited about it and we're gonna mm -hmm. live stream it we're gonna pirate evil dead rise we are. for you guys oh we should do something fun f on friday um online we'll figure it out we'll do something i don't know what we can do i don't know <laughs> we'll see we'll see we're we'll, getting arrested we'll figure it out but um okay so that so i watched that all day sunday so that put me in a funky mood and then today like i said i watched half the last episode and i'm like i need to get outside because i can't and then I watched the newest episode of Yellow Jackets. Oh, I have not even started watching season two yet. Oh my I God, know. Eric! I know. I'm sorry. If you don't do that when you get home tonight, I know. I don't. Well, think now I, I might want to watch Beef before. I don't think I can be your friend unless you start Yellow Jackets. You, please. You have three episodes to you, catch up on. Will, That's it. Three. You will be my friend. 
I will. I know where you live. I might. Yeah, we all do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, have you seen Yellow Jackets? I don't even know what Yellow Jackets is. Oh, oh my it's god! So good. Right, oh my all, god! What platform is it on? It's on Showtime. Showtime. All right, never mind. That disqualifies me. I don't have Showtime. I will. I will get you my login. I don't, info. I don't want it. <laughs> What's the show about? It's about this group of high school soccer players, these girls, who go to the finals. They're in an airplane. They crash. They crash in the in like this remote area. There's no there's no one around. It's just trees and trees and trees. And they've managed to find this this uh cabin. So it's them. Some of them have died. Some of them live. Um their coach is the only adult around and he is maimed i'll just say that mm -hmm. and they have to survive somehow but you know that a few of them do because they flash forward to what they're like today a few of the women and they're, and they're messed all messed up, up. they are great because of the things that happened in the forest it mm -hmm. sounds like a ripoff of that movie that ron howard directed it's about the the thailand kids they got stuck in that cave oh 33 33 that was a great movie it was really good it's Besides not being three and a half see, hours long as right there dark. you're right it's you're right there, Brian. have see? some things Mm -hmm. but unless it's dark is it dark uh, yes it is dark because uh it's, they're in a cave it's very dark and it was <laughs> and like it's a miracle they got all those kids out <laughs> you are Brad. also Viggo Martinsen's in it i haven't seen him in a movie in He's a long great. time let me ask you something did they have to eat each other um they would have if ron howard's direction hadn't saved them okay. got them out of that cave just saying anyway i see i hear what you're saying well anyway this last Not episode interested i had i fell asleep after watching it and i had the most hellacious dream that i woke hellacious up dream. that's a big word came downstairs i was like oh my god oh my god i opened up the patio doors and i'm screaming oh my god it was so vivid what type and of dream it was about one of the girls in the show like you dreamed what happened to her no we were friends and it was something that happened to both of us Oh, like and you I were was one lost, of and I jackets. lost my purse. Yes. Oh wow, you lost your. That sounds like you struggled just as much as oh they did. Oh my god. Well, no, and then I I didn't know where my car was. I didn't know where anything was, and there was like all the. It was crazy. I can't. Something's going on with me. I, obviously, I have, I have had dreams where I've woken up like damn near traumatized, though. See, I'm gonna That's have exactly a dream tonight to about a tooth for sure. Oh no, for I'm sure. sorry. No, and I then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna get my car. I'm going to drive over here and I'm going to make you throw up. Oh my oh. God. Actually, I had a dream last week that like I woke up like in a panic. I ha I think I was in like Hawaii or something like hiking and we sounds beautiful. No, me and this group, like we're hiking. We like slipped down to these like rocks. They were like on like the edge of a cliff and, but there's a bunch of like, it was unstable and there were like a bunch of sections where the rock was missing. It just plunged down like a hundred feet. <sighs> I watched this guy like slip no. and just slide right off and you hear his body on the way down. Oh, I no, woke up and I was Brian. like, holy shit, I gotta oh, go see my God. I gotta get there. <laughs> maybe we don't maybe we can't see Evil Dead Rise. Maybe we oh, should No, afraid. we are going. Yeah, we're going. We're, we're very you delicate. Like scary movies. I I'm love scary movies. I, I took too. it off in like five minutes. I was like, that was a crazy dream. Oh. I'm having trouble shaking off beef and yellow jackets and that whole thing. Well, Evil Dead Rise is going to throw you into a whole oh, nother man. level. So, Well, oh my yeah. God. We'll get ready. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it, I'm sure, oh on God, the podcast. Ah! Anyway, is there anything else you need to, to talk about? Because I think we're done. Yes, I saw three oh, yeah. great yeah. movies. Shut up, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. That's Let me talk. the woman talk. in the cave. Oh, I'll tell you about that on Thursday. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you about that on Thursday. Um, I saw Cocaine Bear. Oh, what was that like? It was weird is it I, funny is um, it it's funny and it's super gross i only saw parts of it but actually elizabeth banks has proved to be quite a, mm -hmm. a talented director yeah she's a good director yeah. she directed that yeah. yeah surprisingly wow and it's based on a true story of course well, the bear died so they took a lot of liberties in the movie yeah. oh okay okay but the bear's st a stomach was packed with cocaine because there's a documentary after the movie that it really happened mm -hmm. kind of well kind not this yes. really just the cocaine part and the bear died immediately after yeah. right it, it the the um drugs were um dropped in the middle of a forest and the one guy died um and then the bear ingested all this cocaine and died is the movie something you'd recommend to people yes I, would i watch it again probably it's not a good not. movie but it's a fun movie it's a fun movie yeah it's so well it's directed. just mindless yeah and it's well maybe directed. i need like, that right now it's elizabeth banks movie which means it's a well-directed but subpar story which okay I found. Yeah. all right the direct, it's just directing's good yeah the directing is good what else um i watched knock at the cabin oh is that that's scary? the m night Shyamalan, isn't it yes i heard it was eh. 
it actually I knew you was were say better it was than I thought it would be because normally I don't like his movies at all. I like his movies. I've oh, only liked we'll three. That. We liked Split. Yeah. I liked that. And I, then I liked um, I liked The, the Village. Visit. Ew. Oh. You liked The Visit? <gasps> mm-hmm. They're only, okay, there are only three good M. Night Shyamalan Signs. movies. And you've only named one of them. And and I liked uh, the I See Dead People one. Six yeah, Six Sense. Six Sense. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, uh, Split and this one was okay. pretty good. I heard so, it was. I heard it was not that good, but it was a knock at the cabin. It's I, called. Yeah. I still think Signs is his best movie by far. Yeah, and Signs was really good. I forgot about that. The Sixth Sense is good, but Signs is just so good. Yeah, to me. Signs was really good. I forgot. About, that's the Alien one, right? Yeah, yeah. I think the Village is eh. I didn't like the There's Village. There's terrible ones like The Happening. Oh and, God, uh, it was awful. Lady in Water or something. Mm-hmm. Just terrible. By the way, Julia Alessi saw Beef, and she says she needs therapy. Thank you. Oh, Julie. Oh no. <laughs> If you guys need therapy to watch TV, is it then. violent? It's it, some of it, yeah. Oh wow, okay. Up and down, yeah, up and down. Um, and then last night I watched one of the best movies I've seen all year. Okay, wait, let's see it. It was. It didn't get a lot of critical acclaim. The audience acclaim was really high. It was Tom Hanks' last movie called A Man Named Otto. Oh, I've yeah. never even heard of that. Yeah. So it's about this. It was such a beautiful film. It was directed by Mark Forster, who directed one of my favorite movies called World War Z. Okay. With Brad Pitt. Oh, that's one of your favorite movies? Oh, I World loved War World War Z. Oh, my God. I watch it all <laughs> the not, time. It's not bad at all. It's just Says so action Brian judging, no, judging. It's not bad. It's just, Thank I've you, Judge never, Judy. No one's ever said their favorite movie is World War Z. No. I, it's not my favorite, but okay. it's one of my it favorites. Is, it is I a good movie. I yeah. love that movie. So um, Tom Hanks plays a widow where... Um, who's just an old curmudgeon. And um, I'm not going to say too much about the film, except that there's a cast of characters that come into his life in his, that live in his neighborhood. Um, and it, it it's so well done. Every character... Does it make him a more happy person? I'm having these people? You. Okay. But Good. You, if don't you haven't anything. seen it, watch it. It's a really great movie. Three good movies then. Mm-hmm. That was to... my favorite of. Oh, really? Okay. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I cried. You did? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. I forgot like, to. Like, ugly cry. Really? Mm-hmm. I actually would love to see Eric ugly cry. Oh, it that was not. Hilarious. It was not. I would love to see that. Yeah. Pretty. I don't want to see Laura ugly cry. because I feel Well, like you I... could see that if you go to YouTube because um, yeah. I was on a show called Good. On the Air with Sully and little Tommy, and we had kind of a mini Jeff oh, and Jerry like reunion. This weekend? Yeah, it was this weekend. I forgot to talk about it. I knew, I knew she was going to plug it eventually. Well, I had to. I mean, yeah, it's been, it was great. It was Jerry, me, little, little Randy. I almost said little Randy. Little Tommy, obviously, because he's on the show. Randy and Emily. Oh, and we were all together surprising Jerry because he was the main guy on the show. Mm-hmm. And it was just so great seeing everybody. At the end, I cry. I feel like we need to get little Tommy back on so I can meet my producer grandfather. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I would love to have him back on. He'll t- uh, um, I'll... I'll make them come back oh, on. Okay. <laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was really, that was great. And you can watch it now on YouTube. So it's on on the air SD, I think. And um, it's the current episode that's up there. And then I cry at the end when I tell everybody that we never got to say goodbye. Oh, sorry. You, you, are doing your headphones that. I had up to so itch high? my ear. No, I don't know why it's up so high. Anyway. No, wait, it's the fact that once his microphone hears his headphones, then that's the problem. Um, I was saying that we never got to say goodbye as a show. We were just ripped off the air one day, oh, and man. that made me all of a sudden cry, and then the show ends. It's oh, like, wow, what a great way to go. I never got to say goodbye. Anyway, that was it. Laura sends in a demo reel applying for her next radio job, and it's just her crying and cut off. I know. I was like, oh my God, not appropriate, but whatever, yeah, as usual. The, they, they pulled out one of the giant like stage hooks they used to get totally. people off stage. Oh, yeah. yeah. The just gong stop show. the show. Hurry. Go to commercial. Get this crazy woman <laughs> off the air. <laughs> anyway. Okay. That's all I have to say today. Thank you, that's Capital you Growth have? Inc. And thank you, Jay Wurzler. Thank you, Capital Growth Inc. That's all I have Thank you, Jay. Do you have anything else to say? I thank don't. you, Scott Sands. Thank you, Scott. The Scott Sands on Facebook. Mm-hmm. The superhuman formula. formula. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you on Instagram and thank you on YouTube. 
And we have a new episode on Thursday, as always. And thanks, everybody. Your podcast. What? Love your podcast. What was that? Love your podcast. <laughs> did you just say it for me, too? Yes. You did. <laughs> Love you, my sweet babies. Love Bye. your podcast. <laughs>